Good morning. <laughs> My name is Haley Histon, and I'm a junior at Wade Hampton High School. Well, it's that time. Time to start thinking about my future. With that in mind, I've been going on a lot of college tours recently. Some have been to private Christian schools, and some have been to larger public colleges. My mom, the guide, and I walk around the schools, looking in the classrooms, talking about my major and the dorms and all those type things. One of the most important things I ask the guide to talk about is the local churches, or I ask them to show me the chapel on campus. I have to admit, a few guys have looked at me funny after I made this request. However, the guides, for the most part, have been passionate Christians, so they tend to get excited about the religious activities that are a part of their church. The guides have shown me their chapels with the ornate glass windows and their quiet, beautiful sanctuaries. They've told me about student worship and religious programs that they offer. I get really excited, but sometimes I get a little nervous when I try to imagine myself as part of this new environment. It's a scary thought, going to a new church. I've been a member at First Baptist Greenville my whole life. In fact, my mom has been here her whole life, too. My uncles, aunts, and cousins are members here. My grandparents have been members since, like, the 50s. <laughs> so old. <laughs> I'm comfortable and happy here. However, I will most likely be attending a different church in my new college town, because no offense, but I'm not driving up from Charleston or whatever just to see y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this church. I'm gonna miss all the love and acceptance that I've always found here. What if I don't feel that at the churches I end up going to? What if it's completely different, and what if I just don't like it? I'm sure the Israelites at the time of Ezekiel felt similar to me. I'm sure they also worried about their faith and how it would affect them because they had to leave their home too. I'm sure they wondered how they would commune with God and their religious community apart from their temple. When I first started these campus tours and looked at the churches, I thought, wow, this is it. This could be my new church. At first, I was really scared. But then I realized I wouldn't be switching churches. First Baptist Greenville will always be my church, no matter where I decide to go to college. Fortunately, I still have my senior year here in this church home to grow be challenged, and to experience the community here. I look forward to my relationship strengthening with my friends here and connect with more people through God in the upcoming year. Ezekiel 37, 12 through 13 says, My people, I'm going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you, and you will live, and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken, and I have done it, declares the Lord. When applying the scripture to my own life, I interpret it to relate to my upcoming college life. God is saying, no matter where you are or what church you go to, God is with you. Ezekiel believed that God was mobile, that God moved throughout the Babylonian Empire with the Israelites. Even if you are worshiping in another church, it doesn't matter because God will follow you and God will be there with you to support you and love you. So no matter if I end up going to a Baptist church near Charleston or Rock Hill or Anderson or, get this, a Lutheran church in Newberry. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> this is my church here in Greenville with you. This is my home and I love it here. Change is scary, especially for members my age. Some of the youth will be going into high school soon, and some of us will take in the giant step heading off to college. We need to remember that no matter where we go, God is with us. The Lord says, I will put my spirit in you and you will live, and I will settle you into your own land. And for me, this is my own land, my own home. So many wonderful things have happened here. My parents were married in this church. My siblings and I were dedicated here. I was baptized here. My best friends are here. My heart is here. So no matter where I decide to go to college and no matter what church I end up attending, this will always be my home. I hope all of you feel the same way about our church. Remember all the good things that have happened and will happen in this church. Remember the love and acceptance that is spread here. Be thankful 
and mindful of the good things that are going on in our church. Be active, participate, and create a home for yourself here. God is with us here and with you, no matter where you go.